Okay, items you need, breaking in a glove, not bananas. Sanitary sock, glove, whoa, farmer's tan. Softball, water, lukewarm water. So this is, let's turn this around. This is my personal preference. Um, doesn't mean it's the right way. Doesn't mean it's the wrong way. This is just how I've been doing it since Pops have taught me and been getting a lot of requests to show people how I go about doing this. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Again, not right, not wrong, my way. Maybe it depends on the leather. Some will say water's not good for the leather. I will say every glove that I've broken in this particular way has turned out absolutely fantastic. So, boom. All right, this is, uh, let's set this up. Hopefully you can see it. All right, here we go. Yeah. Can you see me? You take your glove and the way that I like it formed is maybe a little bit unique. Um, I like deep, so I like to get my hand as deep as possible in there. And then I take my thumb and right at the end of where my thumb is in the glove, I'll start doing this guy here, little flare piece. Get it right there. Some gloves will be tougher, some gloves will be a lot easier to make that form. And then with the pinky, I'll do the same thing. So right where my pinky cuts off, I'll take that and I'll flare that while pushing that in. So while pushing these both in, you'll see that it creates a nice little pocket there, just like so. And then I also like to do this. I close the glove thumb to about middle finger, which is, I guess, rare. I kind of, I like my gloves to feel like a shortstop feel or an infielder feel. Um, and then just how I like it, you're gonna dip it in the water. Like I said, lukewarm. Get it here now. I know you can't see that, so let's. All right. So the way I go about it is I don't get the water inside the the hand there. I get it right close enough to it. Get it over here. Let it sit in there for just a little bit. Everyone's probably freaking out right now. And take note that everything's untied as well. Okay. All right, like so. Get back in there. Hey. Then. Sweat. I take a softball and that's my pocket. Take the softball, put it right in there. And now this might be the two part job or two person job. Try to get the sanitary sock. And the way that I like to do it is I like to take it exactly where I'm flaring the thumb and the pinky. And I like to usually have my hand in the glove at this point. Come on, baby. This is actually really impressive that I'm doing this, right? Okay. So then, after you get it pretty tight, you take your hand out. And then, like I said, with the way that I like to close my gloves, obviously that's not the way I like to close my gloves. So then I try to modify that by taking the sock over roughly that part of the middle finger. So then what you get is the finger starting to fold over. And that's exactly how I, again, personal preference, I like my gloves like this. Widen out that sock area so then you can get that nice little shape. And then you take this and place it right where you want to fold that thumb. So, what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to untie this and tighten it again. 
now that I got the placement right. And honestly, if you have somebody else around you, utilize it. Because you can get the placement right the first time. That's the best route. Okay, now boom, exactly how I like it. Softball provides a deep, big pocket I want. All right, now you go hanging outside. And where should we hang this thing? Usually it's right around here. Yep, there's a nail. So not like directly in the sun. Eh, it might be directly in the sun right now, but in a little, maybe an hour or so, the sun will move and then it's not directly in the sun. Um, Cause you don't want it directly in the sun. to get it super hot, dried. You want it outside, enough to dry. Okay, that's that again. My personal preference. There you go. You're welcome.